Day Bike Life here for another fantastic product. Nah, just play, I'm not Billy Mays. That'd be pretty cool if I was, however. Although I am not. But I am out and about. And guess what? Still not wearing my new helmet. Why? Because it doesn't have a GoPro mount. And I'm too lazy to go to the store to buy the bag of GoPro mounts because I only need one. And they're gonna get me for like 20 bucks for like four. When I can go to the flea market and find them for cheaper than that, probably even less than a dollar, just because I'd say, I'd go to the person and say, oh, what is that? Oh, it's for a GoPro? Well, I don't have a GoPro. I was just gonna use it for, and then make up some random BS that I wasn't actually gonna use it for because I was actually gonna use it for the GoPro now. You see? You see how it works? And then from there, I can get it for like 50 cents. Or a dollar. Or 50 cents. Or whatever I feel like paying. But anyway, that's what I want to do rather than go to the store because I can't even get it cheap on Amazon. Still on Amazon, you still have to buy the whole mount. The whole package of mounts. And ain't nobody got time to be buying packages of mounts. When you only need one, I'm not going to get another helmet. The bike already has the mount up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it has a mount on the back by the chain. So that's... The bike is good. So I only need one. So. As you guys are watching this video, you will see that I do not have the new helmet on it. I figured I owed it to you to give you an explanation. So I hope you accept my apologies for not riding with my new helmet. But anyway, on to the next one. Today I you guys know my ongoing battle with donating clothes because they took down Ten City. And I can't bring myself to put clothes in the bins because who knows where those bins go. So instead of going and donating it in the bins, I always look for Tent City to donate. Any cars coming around here? Nope. But since Tent City's there, the only other place you can actually go somewhere and donate is, is pretty far from me. So because of that, I went to the flea market today with a bunch of garbage bags filled with clothes. And I sold everything for a dollar a piece. And, and boy, did I make some profits. And some people happy too. People were getting, there was like shirts that I had and pants that I had that were brand new, tagged, still on them. People were snatching them up, one dollar. So I don't feel bad not donating them because they still went to a good home, a good quality, to someone for very inexpensive costs. What do you guys, do you guys go to the flea markets? I love the flea markets. Ever, ever since I was little, my dad would always go to the flea market. Unfortunately for me, the flea market was like a half hour away, so we had to get up like super crack of dawn early. And I was little, I was probably like six to like eight. And we would walk around the like biggest flea market that we have here in New Jersey, which is, which is English Town Flea Market. And we would do like laps around it. And let me tell you, that was not fun at all. When I was little. When I was little, it wasn't fun because I had little tiny legs. But I, I do like the flea markets. I try to go every weekend. If I'm not working, I, I'm definitely there every weekend. But, but now that I'm like older, I'm going, you know, every weekend looking for things that I can either resell or things that are like really good value. 
for, for not such a really good, you know, high price. So, I'm kind of like going into the mindset of the American Pickers. I don't know if you guys watch that show on the History Channel. I think it's on the History Channel. They, they, they buy crazy stuff. Stuff that, I mean, I wouldn't be buying. It's just too much and it's, this involves too much in order to, to flip it or to get it to good quality. But I look for like little little things that can go quick and then I can make a dollar on it. Or just things that look really nice. And and today I went with all that clothes and I went with a couple of things that I found here and there. I've, I've had a bunch of video games that I don't play anymore for like Xbox 360. PlayStation and all that, and um, I threw those on the table, and you'd be surprised how quick they went. They were gone in like two seconds before I even like got to put them onto the table. They were already going into people's hands, which I'm 100% fine with because. Like I said, they were sitting in my room for God knows how long, being that I don't you know, have any video games, or that I don't play any video games, so they've just been sitting there since the last time I played. I think like the early, the newest game that I had was like Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3. I don't know which one came out later, but those were like the later of the two. So, they were more than happy to take it off my hand. Yeah, I didn't get 60 bucks for it, which is what you pay for those kind of games when they first come out. But I got more money than it collected dust in my room. So, if anyone has stuff that's collecting dust and they want to turn it into cash, don't just let it sit there. Unless it's something that acquires value over time, Go rent a table at the flea market. It's like 10, I think it's like eight bucks to like 12 bucks, depending on what flea market you go. Throw this stuff on a table and put some prices on it. And then see what people will give you for your stuff. Like I said, you're not gonna get top dollar for it, but you can get something. Anything is better than nothing. Especially if you're not, if you have no use for it. That's my little flea market spiel for the day. I definitely am, am strong into flea markets. I'm strong into trying to motivate others to go to the flea market and just enjoy the flea, what the flea markets have to, to offer. But it's a lot of fun. You go with a buddy here and you just have like so much fun for the whole day. So. That burp wasn't too good. But yeah, NJ Bike Life. Flea markets are the way to go. Who knows, you might even buy a sweet motorcycle from the flea market.